Morning ladies, Roberta here, nutrition therapist and women's health specialist. Welcome back to my period series. Today is episode number three and we're going to be talking about three things you can do to get your period back if you have been suffering with a missing period. The reason why I decided to do a video on this is because over the last year I had so many young women reaching out for help to get their periods back. So there is a lot of women actually out there suffering from second amenorrhea, which means your period has come at some point in your life and all of a sudden has stopped. So if your period has stopped, uh, you do need to address what's going on with your body. And the first thing I would advise you to do is to see your doctor and run some investigations. But here are three things that you can start doing right away uh, that will surely help. The number one thing I would suggest you to do is to eat more carbohydrates. I know you always hear the opposite, like cut your carbs and eat less carbs and diets such as uh, keto at the moment or very low uh, carb diets to lose weight are very popular. However, they can be very bad for your period health. And so the first thing I would like to say to help, to help you ovulate and so bleed again is to include more complex carbohydrates in your life and your diet. So these are things such as your potatoes, your sweet potatoes. Uh, you can also include some basmati rice in there and uh, starchy vegetables. Consistent under eating can shut down your ovulation. And this happens because your hypothalamus stops sending those chemical messages to your ovaries to basically ovulate. So this is because your body's trying to protect you and it's telling you it is not the right time to reproduce. So let's shut everything down and keep surviving. Number two, change your exercise routine. Exercising too intensely and having a body fat that is lower than 15% can often resolve as your period stopping. And that's again, in a similar way of what I just expressed uh, just explained a minute ago is because your body's trying to protect you and if you put yourself under too much stress your body will be automatically thinking you are in a bad period of your life and consequently it won't make you able to reproduce so addressing your exercise routine if you exercise too much is also essential so try to engage in activities that are less stressful for the body perhaps so things for example like yoga or pilates or walking in nature or swimming will be better alternatives to things like crossfit or you know running a marathon and the number three thing is to practice self-care every day so stop for a minute and think what is my body trying to tell me so your body is clearly trying to communicate something to you you're either doing too much you either eating too little or is a combination of the two or as well there might be there might be other reasons why your period stops that again you do need to investigate but your body's clearly trying to tell you something and it's probably to calm down so that's the main thing you do need to address is to cut time for yourself so have a hot bath or sign up to the writing class or get into poetry or you know whatever makes you feel good and just stick to it and try to make time for yourself every day engaging in an activity that makes you feel loved lots of luck to you all thank you for listening and look forward to the next episodes